All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashami Awashai. Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a quick edification for Yahweh's sake. All right, which really, you know, goes back to feet. All right, because, you know, basically, the, the, what actually going to save us in these last days is the faith in Yahweh, Bashami Awashai. And the scripture said, all men have not faith. All right and just like you know back in ancient time in the wilderness in the 40 years in the wilderness the lord was actually testing israel faith to see whether they for him or not all right while they were actually seeing the most i see the things that the most i did for them clearly you know they still fell short by faith all right and that is what the lord doing here again the lord actually doing things what based off our feet to to, to to um to test our feet all right and i was just watching our video the apostle kabad did they call the power right and he said that things that the most i would do for you or in your presence while being in this truth will actually build your feet all right but people they like to see tangible things. They can't deal with the intangible. The intangible is not good enough for them. So they rather see, you know, like, it's like, it had to be like fireworks to them. Something extravagant. Something that they could actually touch or record. Alright? And that is what they would believe. Alright? That is how they would actually believe in the Lord Yabba Shai. Alright, for instance, like, this week... I was actually in the in the process of going and do a video why the most high Yahweh turned his face from his son Yahweh Shai. Going back to Habakkuk 13 when he said that thou art of pure eyes than to behold and can than to behold wickedness and cannot look upon iniquity. Alright? And I was gonna do that video. And then, you know, I saw the brother from the Dallas camp. Yashua Mba Papa video that the brother from Mississippi did and he actually he didn't really went in t- too in depth in the topic but he started off with that saying that the Lord turned his eyes from Yahweh Shai because he had too much he had the sin of all Israel on him and I was like whoa I, I, I basically I can't do that video again because they're gonna look like I just copied the brother video but that is all the spirit of the Lord the, the, the scripture said that we could be of one mind all right so things like this will boost your feet the simple things that is how the lord is work the lord will work sometimes the lord might do something extravagant sometimes the simple thing will boost your feet but but israel the majority of israel they want to see things that they could touch all right they want to see things that they could touch and that is when they would believe and that is why the lord said through this foolishness of preaching all right, because the Lord could just wake up the elect just like that. The Lord could just send the angels down here, Yahweh Shai with the angels, and take take the elect. take Well, take all as well. But the Lord said, through the foolishness of precept, because going back to Psalms, I believe it's Psalms 96 and um, 20, if I'm not mistaken, it said, who will rise up for me? So the Lord wants to see who for him. All right, so let me just get straight into the scriptures. This is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. For the preaching of the cross... Is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of Yahweh. So yes, yeah, so is we we being saved by the power of Yahweh, and we seeing the power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai working through us, which beginning with Apostle Ta all the way down the men of GMS, the men of Great Millstone. All right, because just understanding this word, that is the power of the Lord. All right, do you just gonna pick up this book and understand it? The Lord Yahabashim Yahashai have to open your eyes, open your understanding, despite who teaching. All right, Yahweh Shai taught, Yahweh Shai himself taught, and men didn't understand. All right, so it don't matter who teaching, if the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai don't want you to get this word, you wouldn't get it. And that is just power, that, that is just a faith builder right there. You might just be breaking on a simple milk scripture for someone and they just ain't getting it and that is just amazing how the Mosai Yahaba Hashem Yahashai works and that's supposed to be a faith builder just to show that they 
we different from these average tutors just we had a chance to understand this word all right verse 19 it says for it is written i will destroy the wisdom of the wise and i will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent it says where's the wise where's the scribe where's the disputer of this world hannot yahweh made foolish the wisdom of this world for after that in the wisdom of yahweh the world by wisdom knew not yahweh it pleased yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe yes the lord chose rather for the elect to go out and preach to we um the men the men are pushing this word to go out and preach to wake up the elect because just as you see going out they have people that walk by they hear words but they do them not and we unto them like a like a song all right and they, they might actually come against the word because they don't believe what we say but what we say coming out from the scriptures and the funny thing is that we actually read them from the whole scriptures but when they go in church they're only picking out few um selective scriptures and that is enough for their doctrine but yet they have the whole bible and wouldn't read it but when we read from the whole bible is a problem to them and that just shows that hey you have to count yourself blessed that you have an opportunity to receive this word All right you should consider yourself blessed it says for the Jews, verse 22, for the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Mashiach crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. So now, it says the Jews, the Jews require a sign. They want to see how a shy burst from the heavens, and then they would believe. And that is what's going on right now. It have, it have men that calling themselves Hebrew Israelites, and yet they believe. And even in the day when you have a shy coming and you have a shy and burst the clouds, they might be in the spirit that wow, this was really true. This was really true. And that is a bad spirit to be in. You supposed to be believing now. Your faith supposed to be built up now. Because any time of Jacob's trouble, that is when your faith cannot be really tested. Alright, so you're supposed to get a faith booster now. The Lord exercising our faith for the time that coming, but some men faith ain't being exercised because they lack that faith. And even when they see things coming to pass, that is when they're gonna actually believe what the scriptures were saying is true. But the scriptures say, "Bless are you eyes, your eyes, for you see." Because the simple things that are happening, we see that it matching up with the scriptures, things that. Um, current events that happen it, it coinciding with these scriptures so we know for a fact that these scriptures are on point but only when world war three martial law the rfid chip yahweh shall burst the cloud only when these things happen then some people are gonna believe that is why yahweh shai said then you shall know that a prophet had been among you and hey it's it gonna be a hell of a thing to be pushing this truth for how many years and not believe until you see with your own eyes that would be a hell of that that be a hell of a thing you you actually be a fool in that day all right because he said the jews seek after somebody greeks wisdom all right and the thing with the greeks now they the, the things that we preach they they don't want to believe because they say that it's impossible that that this is so all right with the rape doctrine it it clear right there when they say Yahweh Shai coming in chariots, it's clear, right? But they don't want to believe that it because it's it sounds foolish unto them. Alright. They done been stamped by the doctrine of this world that they can't receive the things of the scriptures. Alright? They can't receive the thing of the scriptures. This is um Romans chapter one verse twenty one. It says, because that when ye know Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts were darkened. All right, and your heart, your heart darkened because why? Because you're gonna come in the street, and you get offended off the word, and fall out, and go on the common board and talk shit, or go out in the street slandering that these men, these men teaching doctrines of devil. All right. Because it said what when you knew um Yahweh, you glorified him not as Yahweh. Alright? You you didn't glorify the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai. 
the way the way he's supposed to be glorified because he didn't have that faith. All right, he didn't have that faith. You just saw this this work, this this truth has something just to do. It it, it looks good, you know. Men coming out, young men coming out preaching these scriptures, it look good. But you you wasn't mixed with that added ingredient of faith. All right, and your your heart your heart got darkened because you what you stumbled over the word, you get offended off the scriptures. All right. You get offended off the scriptures because why you you didn't you lack that faith to believe in the scriptures to receive the scriptures. Verse twenty two, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man, and of and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. All right. So now, just like in the ancient time, it, as I said, Israel, they have they have to see to believe. So they, they don't want to believe in an invisible God. They want to make something that they could touch and feel. All right? And these are gods who they, who they would worship. These are gods who they would worship, something that they could see and touch. All right? And men still in that mentality right now, they, to, to believe, they have to see and touch. But it all goes back to faith. That is why the Lord... In um, John 3, I believe it's 15, it says, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent, and that was the act of faith. All that believe that they would be healed when Moses held up the snake, what was healed. And that is to show it, it all goes back to faith. This whole thing is about faith. Because the Lord Yahabah Hashem Yahushai want to see who for him. Going back to Wisdom of Solomon 3, scripture said that they were tried and found faithful. All right, so the Lord want Lord trying us and to see who who for Him. That is basically the whole thing about this truth is the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai trying us to see who for Him, and by what by by faith, by the hardship that we had to go through and enduring, that goes back to faith because faith is what actually keeps us going. Faith and hope, hope that we're gonna inherit the kingdom, hope that one day we wouldn't be catching all this hell. All right, hey, I have a, a ten month, ten month old daughter that I can't even get to spend a day with. All I get to see her is for like five, ten minutes. You know, her mother and her grandmother, they, they basically, they don't want her to be with me. But every time she need anything, it's my phone they calling. All right, and that is a hard, that is a hard burden to bear. You know, you have a child and you can't really spend time with your child. But guess what? Jeremiah seven and Jeremiah ten nineteen it says, "Woe is me for my hurt." My wounds are grievous, but I must go, I must be it. This part of the hardship of being in this truth. All right, and you know some things like this might like might bug a nigga out, but hey, at the end of the day, the Lord building up our mind, building up our heart to to endure hardship. Because when you're catching all this hardship, you know it because you're coming the truth. You're catching all this hardship, backing up with Hebrews twelve and six. You know it's because of the truth you're catching all this hardship because the Lord trying you. When you remain, because why? Because you have that faith. And you have Hashem Yahushai. When you have Shai said, you that lost family, friends, possessions, wives, whatever the case is, you're going to receive a hundredfold. The, all that goes back to faith. And that is what we hope and to endure. Yeah, I only need truth going on six years. What about a person to her? Over 31 years. Think about the hardship Apostle Taha went through. But still they are faithful. So it all boils down to faith. The, the, this, the whole foundation of this truth is faith. Faith in Yahabah Hashem Yahushai. And faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the words of the Mosai. So you just need to hear to believe. But only the elect will hear to believe. Because from the foundation of the creation. The elect was made with that added ingredient of faith. So the men who endure in this truth most likely are potential members of the elect. All right. This is um. This is First Peter chapter two verse six. It says, "Wherefore also it is contained in the holy scriptures: Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded." Yes, so if you believe in the Lord, you wouldn't be confounded. You're going to be delivered. 
and how you're gonna be confounded by being in this truth all the time and aim believe that is how you're gonna be confounded but unto you unto you therefore which believe it he is precious but unto them which believe which be disobedient the stone which the builders disallowed the same is made the head cornerstone and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense even to them which stumble at the word even to them which stumble at the word right even to them which stumble at the word so you stop there's, there's a reason why their foolish hearts were darkened because they they, they, they stumble at the word the word they, they lack that faith to receive the word the scriptures say your eyes shall see your teachers so you see the teachers but you don't believe the words that they're speaking because the words that they're speaking are the words of yahaba hashem yahushai which you need faith to receive those words all right it says being disobedient where unto also they were appointed so they were appointed unto this the lord yahaba hashem yahushai from the foundation of the earth created men to hear this word and to reject it just so that they, they could be judged. So and that, going back to Romans 11, here we know the terror and the goodness of the Lord, because the Lord could just bring you into this truth just to just to for you to hear it, receive a judgment and destroy you. And that is why Apostle Gabar said, he said, um, some men might think that they in the truth and the Mosai Yahweh Shemir and Shai dealing with them, and he really not. So that is why it all goes back to faith and another thing, humility. Because pride will puff you up so much till your eyes blinded and you're overlooking things that would clear will be clear indicators that you're going off. Alright? But if you had the faith, then it would be humble. And it would you would examine yourself to see whether you're being the faith. Alright? So as I said, this whole this whole thing goes back to faith and and basically that that is that is the entrance into the kingdom by feet all right so with that i'm going to give all praises to yahweh by hashem yahushai give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that rule well salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect this is makazar from the trinidad camp saying shalom